Welcome back to the next video guys, this time it's the 28 inch 4K gaming monitor from AOC It is FreeSync, G-Sync, it is also 144Hz It is IPS display with a 1 millisecond response So, what we'll do now is go directly into what the contents come in the box Then I will take you through ports come with it and so forth So make sure you continue to watch because I got some fantastic gameplay Okay then, so you saw the gameplay, you saw the contents in what was in the box, you also saw the ports. Now, yes, it's got a lot of ports, it is HDMI 2.1 and overall it's a very good gaming monitor. Now, what I will say is it's t it is a little bit expensive, it is £599, but... Of course, it does pack a lot of features. It is full 4K, so that's always a plus in my book. Yes, it has no RGB, but that's just one. That's just someone else's opinion. Uh, the software G menu, yes, you can control it through the software, and the software from AOC is so simple to use. 
it's the easiest software I've ever had to configure and that's coming from having MSI I've had Corsair software it's very simple you plug you play done you just just apply done that's it so in terms of the monitor itself now it's got swivel it's got height adjust everything it can rotate a little it's a good option for a gamer but obviously this is more of someone who wants a 4k display but doesn't have to pay like a, an arm and a leg for it now the price is a little bit steep but of course it's got a lot of features now overall i've used this for about five days i've had zero problems i've managed to hit the 144 hertz on this display yeah the h the hdr 400 which isn't really hdr it's just a certification so yeah it's a good gaming monitor don't get me wrong the stand simple to put together very easy the monitor itself is very striking i do like simplicity of just the aoc branding now you've probably seen the gameplay yeah gta and a bit of csgo now I do them games because CSGO is a very fast paced game so you could see what kind of frame rate I was getting and I was playing that game full 4k at all maxed out settings which you're not supposed to do on CSGO you're meant to if you're a competitor in competitive gaming obviously you'd want the lowest resolution at the lowest level of specs on the game so you can get as much advantage in frame rates. As Linus has done, said in previous videos and shown that going from 60 hertz to 140 hertz, 144 hertz is does show a difference. So the more frames per second, the better. Now GTA, that was full 4K at maxed out settings as well. And my system is a Ryzen 9 5900X, 32 gigs of DDR4. It is a RTX 3070, so and it's fully water-cooled. Now, it, yes, it does have the power to pack that punch. And overall, I had a fantastic time on the weekend playing, uh, doing game night with Andy Rafael from eTechnics. Brilliant monitor. I had zero issues with it. The, it looks fantastic. The only thing I probably don't like is probably the price is a little bit too expensive for me. But overall, that's someone's opinion. It's subjective to someone who wants a 4K monitor or a 2560 by 1440 which I still think is the better option. They've got a lot of different options and monitors. So if you're looking for a gaming monitor that's 4K and is 144Hz instead of 60 or 120 then this is a great option for you. So don't forget to subscribe because I've got a lot more stuff coming. I've got AMD. They are sending me a RX 5900 XT graphs card to review. I've also got stuff that I've just come back from BenQ as well as Team Group. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and of course, as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.